Hello and welcome to the Tech Savvy Agent Tip of the Week. I want to give you guys a cool tip today. Uh, we're going to call this tip World of Mouth. And with social media, uh, obviously all the changes with the web and with blogs and with Facebook, uh, it's pretty easy for people to get information quickly. Uh, and one thing is that that could work for you or against you. So today we're going to talk about a really cool service from Google called Google Alerts and give you an example of how that uh, actually is helping companies and agents right now. So it's something you may wanna start leveraging for yourself. Uh, thank you also for being a fan uh, of the fan page and we do appreciate it. Uh, we do have a pretty good team here at Tech Savvy Agent and we try to take good care of you guys and provide value uh, on a daily basis. So please help continue uh, to spread the word about who we are and uh, we're obviously looking to continue to grow. So thank you, but I'm gonna hop in really quickly and uh, I'm gonna go back into uh, a blog post that we wrote recently and just throw it up at the top here. But we did a review of Daylight, which is a CRM for Mac. And obviously the word Mac and the word Daylight are in the title. So when that goes out on the web, those words are gonna be visible. Uh, we can also see if I scroll down a little bit, uh, you'll see that there's a comment from Marnie, the Mac angel, Melrose. And Marnie actually works for the company that does all the training for Daylight. So this is something that would be close to her heart. And this was a positive review, but obviously we could have also done a negative review. And the concept is that if you're an agent or you work for a company, you would probably want to know when somebody that you can't control, like a blogger or somebody in the social networks, uh, when somebody puts something out there about you or your brand, you want to be the first to know so that you can also be the first to respond. So I'm going to hop into what's called Google Alerts. And you can see it's a pretty simple screen here. Uh, if you can't find this, just hop into Google and search Alerts, and that'll bring you right to this screen. And you can see it's pretty easy here. It's basically asking for search terms. So, for example, uh, what Marnie would have done is she would have probably had Mac angel as one of her search terms and uh, also if she wanted to have uh, daylight as another term uh, that would be an option as well so she could put in mac angel daylight and that would pick up either word so if you put in uh, you know tech savvy agent it would pick up on each individual word so if you just wanted things that had daylight and mac angel you would just throw quotes around it and now it would only pick up things that had those words in that order. We also have the type of search and we're going to go to a comprehensive search. And what this will do is pick up all the news sites, all the blogs, the entire web, plus any video or group conversation. So we'll go with comprehensive. And then we also get to determine how often we want to receive this alert. And I would say probably uh, you would want to get notified as it happens. So we'll just select as it happens. And the number of results would vary, but uh, we're not that popular, so we would just do 20. If you're a big company like Zillow or Google or Mac, uh, obviously you'd want to have 50 results. And then it's just asking where should we deliver uh, these alerts. So that's pretty simple to do. Uh, think of the number of useful terms that we could throw in here. What if we wanted to know every time somebody said, looking for a realtor in California? So that might be a good idea to get yourself alerted every single time anybody on the web types in that exact phrase. Uh, so that would be another useful term. And then of course, uh, if you wanna keep an eye on your own brand, maybe you would throw in uh, Joe Agent, and you could also include maybe even your company name. So we'll just throw in Keller Williams, obviously could put Coldwell Banker or Remax, et cetera. So it's pretty simple to set these alerts up and you're just gonna then hit create alert. Uh, and that instantly uh, will give Google, you can see the other alerts that we have available. So you can set up multiple alerts. And uh, we have one set up for tech savvy agent sucks. Uh, God forbid anybody ever would put that out there on the blog. Also tech savvy agent in quotes. You can see Apple tablet. So that would be another practical use if you wanted information about a product to come to you every time there was something new. Uh, so it's a really cool feature from Google. Obviously, it's completely free. Uh, we go back into our Gmail inbox and just kind of refresh that. And that should bring in the email letting me know that I just set up my new uh, Google alert for that topic. 
And now without having to browse the web, we'll kind of hit refresh again. Looks like it didn't come in right away. But uh, now without browsing the web, without having to go into any uh, websites and dig around and see if anybody's talking about anything that we were talking about, uh, it's gonna bring these alerts right to me. So you can see that the Google web alert for tech savvy agent came into my inbox. Uh, also, if there's any blog alerts. So you can see that actually some people did put some things in there uh, about Tech Savvy Agent recently, and we found that out very quickly. So just wanted to say uh, this is a great service, Google Alerts. Uh, if you guys aren't using it, uh, hopefully you like this tip today, and I uh, look forward to bringing you guys more tips as time goes on. Uh, we'll be covering things, social media, real estate technology, and how that can help and grow your business. So thank you guys for being a fan. Uh, we just hit 3,200 fans, and we're not looking like we're uh, getting smaller. We'll put it that way. So thank you guys, and have a great day. Uh, this is the team over at Tech Savvy Agent signing off.